The nice thing about two-factor authentication on Google is that similar to Apple, Google will authenticate you by sending a notification to your mobile device. So when signing into Gmail or any of your other Google apps, a simple click of the button proves it's you that's trying to sign in and you're all done. This makes setting up two-factor authentication on your Google account very easy. By enabling 2FA on Gmail, you are actually enabling it for the whole of your Google account. So to configure 2FA, you need to access your Google account settings by browsing to Gmail or accounts.google.com and logging in as per normal. In Gmail, click on your profile icon in the top right corner of the screen, which will take you to your account settings. It's the same process on your phone. If you already have a Google app installed, click on your profile icon and choose manage your account. Otherwise, browse to accounts.google.com and log in. Once here, click on security, either on the left-hand side of the desktop menu or swipe left on your phone. Under signing in to Google, choose two-step verification followed by get started. You'll be asked to confirm your account credentials and then Google will check if you have a linked device. If you're using an iPhone to be able to link your device, I think you need to install one of the Google apps, such as the Gmail app, as I have done here. If you prefer to use the built-in mail app on your iPhone rather than Gmail, and you don't have any other Google apps installed, you can choose to have an SMS sent to your phone, but that is less secure. Alternatively, you can use Google Authenticator, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. Click Continue and Google then requires you to provide a phone number as a backup method of accessing your account. If you prefer, you can choose to download some codes instead of using your phone number, but I'll use my phone number and click Continue. Enter the SMS verification code and that's it. You now have two-factor authentication enabled on your Google account. You'll receive an email confirming that 2FA is indeed enabled, and when you next log in to Google, a notification on your mobile device will prompt to confirm that it is actually you trying to log in. If you don't have any of the Google apps installed on your phone, or if you simply prefer to use the Google Authenticator app, it's a similarly straightforward process. Here you'll see the option to set up your Authenticator app. Choose either Android or iPhone, and you'll be presented with a QR code that you'll need to scan using the app. Having downloaded the app, click on scan QR code, enter the six digits displayed, and that's it, you're all set to go. Use the code next time you want to log in to your Google account. So that's it, you can be safe in the knowledge that your Google account is well protected from anyone trying to access it other than you. If you missed my video demonstrating how you can do the same thing on your Facebook account, then you might be interested in watching this. To enable two-factor authentication or 2FA, log into Facebook either on your computer or your mobile phone. I'll demonstrate the process first on desktop and then we'll switch over to mobile. As always, links to skip ahead are in the description below. Having logged in, click on the drop-down menu icon and choose Settings and Privacy, followed by Settings. Over in the left-hand menu, choose Security and Logins, scroll down to Two-Factor Authentication and click on the edit button. You now have three options. If you don't use a 2FA app such as Authy, Google or Microsoft Authenticator, then your best bet is to set up 2FA using SMS. This means you'll receive a code via SMS each time you log in. This is the least secure method of implementing 2FA because getting access to your SIM card or porting your telephone number is a lot easier than unlocking your phone and getting access to a 2FA app or using a physical security key. Using a physical security key, which is similar to a USB thumb drive, is considered the most secure method, but it's not always practical. So as you can see, the recommended method is to use an app. Having clicked on the app, we're given the usual option to either scan a barcode or enter the key manually. I use Authy, but regardless of which two-factor authentication app you use, You'll have similar options to this, where you can choose between activating the camera in your phone to scan a QR code or entering the code manually. Having scanned the code in Authy, I simply need to give my new 2FA account a name, then back on Facebook, if I click continue, I then need to enter the code displayed in the Authy app to synchronize my new account. 
It's a similar process on mobile. Log into your Facebook mobile app, click on menu in the bottom right corner of the page and scroll all the way down to settings and privacy. Choose settings and again, scroll down to security and choose security and logins. Halfway down the page, we have our two-factor authentication options. I'll choose two-factor authentication, and as with the desktop setup, we have three options. As before, I'll choose to use an app and click continue. Now here is where the process differs slightly. If like me, you're using the 2FA app on the same phone you're logging into Facebook, you can't scan the QR code. So instead, we'll copy the code shown here and paste it into our 2FA app. Back in Authy, I'll choose the option to enter the key manually. Having done that, it's exactly the same process as before. I'll give my new 2FA account a name and enter the PIN shown in Authy into Facebook to finish the process. If I now log out of Facebook and back in again, having entered my credentials, you can see I'm also prompted to enter my 2FA code. Having set up two-factor authentication, it's a good idea to download a copy of your recovery codes and save them somewhere safe. These codes ensure you can still access your Facebook account should you ever lose access to your 2FA app. You can also access them on your mobile phone from the same menu where we set up 2FA. Finally, it's a good idea to log out of Facebook on all your devices. Over time, you can build up quite an extensive list of devices where you've logged into. In the mobile app, you can see where you're logged in here. And you can log out by choosing see all and clicking on the three dots next to each login. Visit the website for lots more tips on Google, Gmail, Facebook, and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.